so clearly it says that sweep generator means it provides a continuous sinusoidal waveform continuous sinusoidal waveform so you may think that why we have already seen a sinusoidal generator sign and <coughs> sin and square generator and different types of generators are simply a um, oscillator is also working like a sinusoidal generator why it is the need of this sweep generator so here some additional advantages have been incorporated in this sweep generator like a marker generator so instead of simply generating a sinusoidal waveform it also gives a marker where the frequencies have been marked on the screen of the CRO so the purpose of marker generator is to indicate the frequency levels at every half cycle of the sinusoidal generator sinusoidal signal on the CRO screen okay some additional features have been incorporated like this uh, that comes under the sweep generator let us see the uh, description and as well as block diagram and explanation of this sweep generator <coughs> So it provides, as I said, it provides a sinusoidal output voltage whose frequency varies smoothly and continuously over an entire frequency band usually at audio rate. So remember the sweep generator here we are discussing that generates the frequency range that from 20 to 20 kilohertz. So audio frequency is nothing but 20 edges to 20 kilohertz. So the frequency range that is generated by this sinusoidal signal only in the range of audio frequency. The process of frequency modulation may be accomplished electronically or mechanically. Here some modulation techniques have been incorporated in the frequency in terms of frequency. So frequency modulation can be done either electronically or mechanically. So electronically means by modulating the voltage to vary the re reactance of the oscillator tank circuit. Oscillator tank circuit we are using, see here we are using an RF oscillator. I will show the block diagram however. Uh, here we are using an RF oscillator. For that RF oscillator internally it is having a tank circuit. Without tank circuit we cannot generate oscillations. At fixed frequency, at uh, selected frequency it generates oscillations. So the internal tank circuit is having a reactance the voltage of that particular reactance varies nothing but modulated modulated that is the purpose of electronically modulating the signal and the second one is mechanically by means of motor driven capacitor as provided for a modern laboratory type signal generators so some conventional methods and modern methods have been there in the conventional methods the tank circuits voltage has been modulated and in the mechanical in the latest uh, laboratory signal generators so we are using a motor driven capacitor so that the capacitor value is keep on changing and the frequency also changes so change in the frequency is nothing but frequency modulation in terms of this explanation what we are saying that a modulation of frequency nothing but change in the frequency of the RF oscillator can be done either mechanical way or electronical way electronical way is nothing but by changing the voltage across the capacitor that gives the change in the frequency and by an mechanical way means a motor driven capacitor nothing but some uh, change in the capacitor variable capacitor has been kept there and by changing the value of the capacitor it gives the different values of frequency now let us see the block diagram of sweep generator this is the block diagram of sweep generator entire operation starts at rf master oscillator entire this operation started at this rf master oscillator so rf master oscillator clearly tells that it is a radio frequency master oscillator radio frequency master oscillator and amplifier so internally it is having a generator followed by amplifier internally it is having a generator uh, generator nothing but a continuous sinusoidal signal has been generated and it is being amplified it is being amplified because every signal generator must have amplifier in it we have seen several uh, signal generators so far all these signal generators have attenuators for, and as well as amplifiers the purpose of uh, amplifier is to give the maximum amplitude up to a certain level and attenuator is to select the required amount of level level is nothing but amplitude okay now 
for this RF oscillator, the input is coming from see, several inputs have been connected around this RF oscillator. One is from the marker generator, another one is frequency sweeper, another one is level output control, which is having very, very, very important purpose. And another one is manual frequency control. Manual frequency control. Remember, this RF master oscillator and uh, amplifier section has uh, two types of frequency controlling mechanisms. So one is manual frequency control, another one is through the frequency sweeper, through this frequency sweeper. Okay. Manual frequency control means uh, we can array, we can select a particular range by changing any of the resistance or capacitance within the oscillator by changing any of the values okay that means we have a knob in our hand we have a knob that changes even it changes the oscillator frequency will also vary this is done manually but in here in the frequency sweeper it is having internal circuitry to change the capacitance of this oscillator so whenever the frequency sweeper changes it is it changes the so it is the it is having the feasibility to change the frequency of the master oscillator by changing the capacitance of the RF master oscillator. Okay, as well as the output of the frequency sweeper is also given to display H sweep voltage. What do you mean by H sweep voltage? Horizontal horizontal deflection system, which means horizontal horizontal deflection system so by seeing the name you may think that it it belongs to cro okay it belongs to cro that means in the cro section <coughs> we have two deflection plates vertical deflection plates and horizontal deflection plates vertical deflection plates are operated with the voltage and amplitude uh, uh, that means amplitude levels and horizontal deflection system operated with a frequency that thing but time period of the signal that we are giving at the input of the CRO okay so now when this type of uh, sweep generator is connected to the CRO to display the signal of the sinusoidal waveform the amplitude of course it is coming from the level output controller but the frequency is applied from this sweep generator so what a sweep generator will do sweep generator sets the time period of the uh, set the time period of the horizontal reflection system that will vary the sweeper nothing but have, uh, like this a sawtooth waveform this sawtooth waveform acts like a sweep for this horizontal reflection system and sets the uh, electron beam how much horizontally that the electron beam has to travel okay that is a different story we will see in the oscillators okay so frequency sweeper another thing is i told you already it is having an additional advantage that is a marker generator marker generator that means our rf generator is producing a continuous sinusoidal signal continuous sinusoidal signal for every half cycle a marker has been generated marker generated on the CRO is nothing but it is also having a signal it is also marker is nothing but it is also a, a small signal that signal is superimposed with these master oscillators sinusoidal signal both are superimposed and producing on the CRO this is superimposition gives our gives the marker Okay, that means every half cycle, this is the amplitude, this, sorry, this is the time period, this is the amplitude. So like that, the uh, levels have been given by this marker generator. That is the main purpose of this marker generator. If you want to see what is the signal that is coming from the marker generator alone, that also we can get this marker generator output. Okay, so what is the purpose of this marker generator? It gives the time period and amplitude at every half of the sinusoidal signals and this is superimposed with the original signal like nothing but sinusoidal signal okay that's why it is given to the input of this rf oscillator another one okay okay now we have a continuous sinusoidal signal that is okay but whether it gives whether the rf oscillator gives a constant amplitude throughout the frequency See, I am drawing two signals here. Uh, you can estimate what is the difference between these two. See, this is a continuous sinusoidal signal what every human being expecting from the sinusoidal generator. And another type of signal generator, a sinusoidal signal generator, you can imagine a different uh, 
see this is another signal that is generated from the sinus it is also a sinusoidal waveform first one is a pure continuous sinusoidal waveform with a constant amplitude and the second one is also a sinusoidal signal continuous signal but it is not having a constant amplitude throughout the waveform okay so our signal generator should not require should not require such type of waveforms we need a signal that is always like this that should be always like this so for this what we need to do we need to maintain a controlling over the amplitude we need to maintain a control we have a control over the level of output signal for that level output control circuit is used okay so output control i want to give it a 20 volts that 20 volts has to be maintained by the output signal so it is a feedback it is a feedback it is a closed loop feedback system level control circuit is a closed loop you can write here closed loop feedback control system it is a closed loop feedback control system that gives the closed see the output is uh, the output of this rf oscillator goes through this level controller and again coming back to the rf oscillator what it does what it will do so it takes the input whatever the output generated from the master oscillator gives a fixed amount of amplitude that again fed back to the rf oscillator so, so the same signal has to be the signal has to be generated the same uh, amplitude always until we change the output control if you can change if you want to change this uh, output level you can change otherwise it maintains the constant amplitude because it is a feedback uh, closed loop feedback system that maintains the same amplitude forever next in this 20 volts i want only 10 volts or i want only 5 volts that's why output attenuator is there output attenuator is there to get the required output okay from here we are getting the output see output voltage the level controller what is the amount of output voltage that it is shows that is given by this indication it is a meter that shows the voltage of the generated output okay so this is the block diagram of uh, sweep generator and its explanation uh, these are some description points are given the frequency sweeper provides a variable modulating voltage which causes the capacitance of the master oscillator to vary and a representative sweep rate could be of the order of 20 sweeps per second in the frequency sweeper we have i told you already frequency sweeper purpose is to drive two things one is the master oscillator frequency another one is the horizontal reflection system how it varies so it changes the order 20 sweeps per second a manual control allows the independent adjustment of the oscillator resonant frequency i told you already so frequency can be selected in either two ways one is a master oscillator control that is from the frequency sweeper another one is from the manual control so frequency sweeper provides a synchronization to drive the horizontal reflection plates of the crvo so thus the amplitude of the response of the test device will be locked and displayed on the screen to identify the frequency interval, a marker generator provides half sinusoidal waveform at any frequency within the sweep range. The marker voltage can be added to the sweep voltage of the CRO during alternate cycles of the sweep voltage and appears superimposed on the responsor, response curve. I told you already, okay, continuous sinusoidal signal is generated by the RF oscillator and here marker generator for every half cycle for alternative half cycles here pause to half cycles if you are taking the pause to for every pause to half cycles a marker generator will give the markers and nothing but indication what is the amount of amplitude frequency that gives by this marker generator i told you already the purpose of uh, automatic level control also automatic level control is nothing but it is a closed loop feedback system which monitors the rf level at some point in the measurement system this circuit holds the power delivered to the load or test circuit constant and independent of frequency and impedance changes so if you read this point you can understand why i have said this uh, level control maintains a constant output voltage see <clears throat> whenever we are using the output of a sweep generator to test any other devices we cannot maintain different amplitude signals so throughout whenever we are testing it we should give a constant output signal so that the test circuit will take the signal and give the proper results 
suppose if we if we are having a changes in the uh, sinusoidal signal that will not give a proper result so during this test a constant output circuit we need and deep independent of frequency and impedance changes independent of frequency and impedance changes of this particular rf oscillator rf oscillator what we are doing we are changing the amplitudes we are changing the frequencies we are changing the frequency frequency may be varied but amplitude should not vary a constant power level prevents any source mismatch and also provides a constant readout calibration with frequency so it prevents any mismatch suppose if any impedance mismatch is there signal will be reflected back such things which should be avoided okay so this is about a sweep generator which is nothing but a signal a sinusoidal signal generator only but it gives some additional advantages so like a constant output throughout the time period and with a marker generator at alternative cycles okay thank you